I'm trying to get myself situated. Oh my goodness. Time creeps up on you so fast. It's just crazy how that happens. Okay, I want to pull it up on my phone. Um, for some reason I cannot get my my little light thing to work. I don't know why it stopped because it was working, but I don't know. So my green screen looks a little crazy. <laughs> It's all good. It's all good. All right, let me see who's here. Hi, Sister Angie. How are you? Yeah, I had to change my title because when you said that, I was like, oh my goodness. I don't want anybody else thinking that that I'm dealing with breast cancer, you know? So I changed the title. So it won't seem like it's me, but this is how I was affected by it due to my mom having it. So, um, blessing, bless, hold on, let me put y'all up here on my screen. Cause I see somebody else was here. Vicky, thank you for coming in here. I appreciate that. Thank God for healing. Amen. Thank God for healing. He is such a healer. He is such a healer. Blessings, Brother Terrence. How are you? Um, and Sister Angie said, I will be listening while getting dressed. Okay. I am so sorry about your mother. I am. I love you, honey. I love you too. I love you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay. So she's going to be in the bushes. <laughs> um. Love you back. Yeah, we love y'all. Love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. Sister Diana, I love you so, so much as well. I love you so much. My sister cousin, NHK, thank you for coming, sis. Um, she said, um, Sister Angie, Sister Diana said, I love you so, so, so much. <laughs> Ricky, thank you for coming here. Ricky Kamuyu, blessings to you. I appreciate you for coming in. Hey, Sister Carrie Ann, thank you so much for coming in. Blessings to you. Sister Diana said, blessings, brother. I love you, brother. <laughs> My sister OVW in the bushes. <laughs> thank you, sis. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Keep my flower bushes, okay? My buttercup bushes. <laughs> um, My sister, don't, yes, please don't forget to thumbs up. Thank you. Thumbs me up, get me pushed out and everything. I appreciate every last one of y'all being here. My sister, Jazz, be a blessing podcast. Thank you so much for coming in, sis. I appreciate you so much. She said blessings to the family. Mama Deborah, how are you? Thank you for coming in here. Good morning, NWA, and blessings to everyone who joined in. Love you all. She said she love you all. Yes, I love you too. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much and um listen in the back yes i understand this because i know you're working hold on um, okay um brother terrence said hi nhk and miss lena hey sis how are you blessings to you as well i appreciate you for coming in sis love you so much um Brother Terrence said, hi, OVW, blessings. Hi, Buttercup. Where's Buttercup at? <laughs> hi, Be a Blessing podcast from Brother Terrence. Uh, I love you all, says Sister Jess from Be a Blessing podcast. We love you too, sis, and I love everyone here. Blessings to NHK from Sister Diana, because you know she loves you more, more, more. 
Hey, the positive pusher. Thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate that. She says, good morning to me and the mods in the chat. Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming in here showing love. Sister Marcel OVW says, blessings to you, Brother Terrence. She says, hi, mom. <laughs> in each case, say, hey, Brother Terrence. Brother Terrence says, hey, positive pusher. And Sister Shelby says, hey, everybody. <laughs> Okay, so y'all, I have an hour, so um, I'm going to try to enjoy this hour because, look, I'm children-free. Um, most of y'all know that I have five children, so right now my husband is watching the babies for me so I can go live, and I'm going to try to keep my promise of staying within the hour. Um, Sister Diana says, blessings, Mama Deborah, I love you. How is your ear, Mama Deborah? Yes, we've been praying for your ear. So, yes, how are you? Oh, thank you for the love. Sister Carrie Ann said, hi, Brother Terrence. And he said, hi back. So, <laughs> everybody say hi to each other. And blessings and all that good stuff. Hey, Sister Tiffy, how are you? So good to have you here. I'm going to try to get into this. I forgot. Well, today I was going to talk about um, just natural living. But then I forgot that Sister um, Teresa had tagged me in the um, breast cancer thing. So I was like, okay, you know what? That's what I need to do since I'm already talking about natural things. I love you too, sis. I love you so much. And thank you so much for watching my video on this is my story. This is my song and being able to hear my testimony because your testimony truly blessed me. You gave your testimony um, on the youth um, night. That was truly a blessing, and it just shows how much the Lord loves you, that he spared your life, and even spared other people's lives when you, um, all the things you said. I just, hope, hopefully one day you can give your testimony. I know Sister um, Marcel OBW, she does testimony Thursday sometimes, so preferably when she do her testimony Thursday, that you can get up there and tell your testimony, because it's beautiful, beautiful testimony. Okay, everybody say hello to each other. There go my brother. How you doing, my heart? Your heart, Brother Brandon. How are you? Blessings to you. And I know you challenged me. I was thinking about doing the challenge either my ne next Tuesday or either just doing a video. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. But yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do the challenge. I accept the challenge. Um, um, give it what is give thanks to the Lord or thank you, Lord. I know it's something like that. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. Good morning to Beverly Palmer. Blessings to you. How are you? She said, Much love to each and every one with blessings. Thank you so much. Blessings to you. Much love to you. Okay, since you're in the bushes, and I know you do this for me, Sister Marcel. So, blessings, my beautiful sis OVW. I love you so very much, even though you're in them bushes. <laughs> Make sure you trim them pretty from Sister Diana. <laughs> yes. Okay. Everybody showing love again. Oh, oh, I'll I'll watch it. I know you will, brother. I appreciate you. You just had me laughing the last time. Oh wow. Testimony Tuesday. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I knew it was testimony something. Yeah, testimony Tuesday. So hopefully. Um, she does testimony Tuesdays. I can't remember like what days you do it because it's like once is it once a month? I believe she does it once a month, once a month. So um hopefully everyone can go over there and give your testimony because I'm telling you, we have such a blessed time when we um just share testimonies with each other. I'm glad it blessed you. Yes, it really did. It really did bless me. So thank you so much for sharing it so much. What the challenge. What you, what you talking about, NHK? What challenge? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm here listening while attending to grandbabies. T take care of those babies. I know how it is. I have five children myself, so I'm always sitting in the bushes, you know, taking care of my babies. Got to get that home taken care of. So thank you so much for being here listening. And I know, sis, I know, sis, Andy, you're here listening. I understand. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. Oh, that's this is somebody new. I don't believe. Oh, hey, oh, I'm from Wales, UK. Carrie Ann's mom. Praise the Lord for our grace and fellowship. Oh, praise the Lord. Thank you so much, Sister Mandy. Oh, we love Carrie Ann. So thank you so much for being here. 
I really appreciate that. Oh, such a blessing. Love you all. God bless you. Thank you so much, Mandy. Yes, we have such a wonderful family of Christ here. And I'm truly grateful for every last one of y'all here. So thank you so much. So you just said, oh, you just said you accepted Brother Brennan's challenge. We need some. Wow. <laughs> Since you always got something to say. <laughs> I told you to buy me some. You're supposed to be getting me some for my birthday, right? <laughs> yes, I totally forgot I said that. Yes, the um, thank you, Lord, challenge. Actually, when I do mine, I plan on challenging you. So, yeah, I got you. Um, Marcel was challenged in it, too. So we're going to be challenging some people. We got some names. Mm -hmm. We got some names. Just your friends, how you gonna come in here laughing at um Sharina? You're not supposed to be my you're supposed to be my girl. That was just funny. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. That was funny. Um, you brought your mom. Yes, glory to God. I know that's such a blessing. Just so thankful. And so good to see you, Sister Shafante. How are you? And our nieces and nephews, how are they? I pray all is well. Thank you for coming in here. And what hold up? I know I see my sister. Hey, Sister Sandra, how are you? Thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate you. Yes, it's the Thank You, Lord Challenge. Yes, me and Marcel was tagged in that challenge. So, um, Okay, so let me see where I'm at. Let me try to hurry up. My back has been better the last three days. Praise the Lord, sis. That is a blessing to hear. And I just trust the Lord that it's going to get even more better. We are praying and we are trusting the Lord for healing in your back. So hallelujah for that. That is a blessing. Okay, everybody, there's my sister Pamela. How are you, sister Pam? Actually, I have your package that I received from you yesterday. And I plan on opening that package soon because I want everyone to see what you got me. So I have not opened it. Um, actually, Sister Pamela sent my daughter, Amaya, a package, um, what was it, some weeks ago, and she crocheted beautiful hats, and my daughter loves hats, she loves wearing her hair covered, and um, she wears those hats, like, she loves those hats, so she sent me some more stuff, so we doing, like, a barter type thing, so I'm gonna send her some things from my business, and um, she sent me these, so I'm excited to see what they are for my um, daughters, so really excited. Fonte on my side, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> you you hear that, Fonte? You choosing sides now? I thought you was my girl, but it's okay. <laughs> Come on, Fonte on my side. That's all right. Um, Josh Fonte, yes, born again Christians, the whole family. Praise the Lord. Oh, that is a blessing. Praise the Lord, Sister Mandy. That is a blessing. The whole family. Oh, you gonna oh hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, you gonna get challenges, NHK, no doubt. Am I missing your conversation? Don't challenge me. Okay. That's all right. You're gonna get challenged. Uh-huh. Cause you know when I call you up, I be texting you, sis, get up there and sing. Mm -hmm. You be thinking you be hiding. Y'all, but she can't hide. She can't hide from me. Oh, you gonna get challenged. <laughs> she said I don't accept. <laughs> That is so funny. Yes, we love you so much. There is my girl, Handmade Designs, y'all. I don't know if you want me to share this as HD. I don't know if you want me to share this, but let me know if you want me to share it. But I am so excited for you. Oh, my goodness. Such a blessing. Oh, my goodness. Yes, we pray that your back feels better. Yes, we're going to keep praying. We're going to keep praying. Yes, she said, I love you. She'll be right back. It's singing, NHK. We want to hear you sing. Yes, thank you, Shafante. Now she got my bag. Mm -hmm. My sister, Lorenda, how are you, sis? Great like to you as well. You know what, sister Lorenda? I forgot your dad is dealing with cancer right now. Uh, I'm trying to think. What did you say? Is it, is it his chest? I can't remember where you said it was located. I haven't tagged anybody in this because I couldn't think of who I could tag in here. I know I was thinking about Sister Carla, but she don't make videos. So I was thinking who I could tag um, in this here. My sister, Lovely Key. How are you, Sister Keisha? Love you, sis. How you doing? 
I know you've been so busy. I've been praying for you and your family. So, so good to see you. So, Sister HD is saying hello to everybody. My sister Vita, how are you, sis? Thank you for coming in. I don't know if you're working right now, but thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate you so much. Sure. Okay. Y'all, I want y'all to put some confetti, whatever it is that's in your um <laughs> in your phone. And I want you to give our sister handmade designs, clapping hands, praise the Lord. She has just got monetized, y'all. She just got monetized. So I think you just got ads on your video, right? Started today, I believe. So please, y'all, congratulate her for um, getting monetized. Such a blessing. We are so happy for you. I am so excited for you. I really am. Yes, yeah, Sister Shafante, you, you probably going to get tagged too. So just get ready. <laughs> just get ready she said i love you both <laughs> she said look i am not taking sides y'all both my sisters i know that's right sis that's how it is we always play around like that i would like to request a prayer for my friend april's friend and me my friend april who died on september 28 20 and today's her birthday oh she died on september 28th wait a minute Oh, today's, oh, she died last month. Oh, my goodness. And today's her birthday. I'm thinking we in September now. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, my goodness. My family and you. Yes, we're going to pray. We're going to pray for you and your family. Oh, my goodness. I am so sorry to hear that. May the Lord just be your strength and your family through this. Everybody's throwing up congratulations. Oh, look at you, sister. NHK. She, um... What did you say, Brother Terrence? Hold on. I'm skipping comments. Yeah, I'll sing even if nobody challenges me. Oh, you're going to get challenged, sis. So you might as well just know that that's already going to happen. I'm good. Love you also. Uh, thank you, sis. And Positive Pusher is saying hello to you, Sister Key. Oh, yeah, that's your girl. Yeah, it's good to see you. It really is good to see her. It's such a blessing um sandra praying for april yes we're praying for april i'm gonna say a prayer for her appreciate you and thank you so much for supporting you are so welcome hd i appreciate you as well you are such a great supporter running my videos and everything i thank you for that and i'm so happy that you are monetized now so what a you know monkey off your shoulder now <laughs> so now you just keep going and get those ads played so praise the lord um sister um Angie said, I have been using the topical substance that naturally Cody sent me. Also, I have not been to the gym for over a week because I hurt my foot really bad. I pray your foot feel bad. I feel better. Um, we just pray the Lord just touch your body overall. And I'm so glad you're using the products that I have um, sent you. I am so grateful for that. She said, Sister Lorenda said, I, I'm doing okay. I've had a headache for four days. No, I stop. I might go to the ER to see if everything is okay. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry about the headache. Did you check your blood pressure? I know sometimes when you have um, headaches for a long time, it could be a blood pressure related thing. Um, so check your blood pressure. Just try to watch what you eat and not eating a lot of stuff with salts in it. Um, maybe have to al alternate your diet a little bit, but I I'm going to be praying about that too. Hold on. Let me try to write these things down because I don't want to forget um, to pray for you. And um, yeah, so if y'all need prayer, please let me know because yeah, even though I'm talking about this, we all we always should be ready to pray. We should always be ready to pray for people. Um, yes, we are so sorry for your loss. Thank you. She said thank you to everyone. My foot is better now. I hope when I go back to the gym, my back my back pain does not return. I choose to have faith in God. Amen. Continue to have faith in God. Do you do um, back strengthening exercises as well, like um, laying flat on the floor, holding your knees to your to your um, chest? Those are that's a really good one. It's a lot of good um, back strengthening exercises too to help with the back. I actually experienced supernatural healing in my back one day. I had very bad back pains um, when I was younger, and I had gotten two car accidents, so it really hurt my back really bad. And one day. I was doing my schoolwork and I was watching someone on TV while I was doing my schoolwork and they were saying, the Lord said, you know, to pray for people with back problems. And it's like, put your, I don't know, it's like, put your hands in the air or touch your back. I can't remember what it was. So 
I um said the prayer and I was just like, Lord, I trust you for healing my back. And I was sitting, I didn't even realize that my back was healed until one day I was sitting in my chair, sitting in the chair. And if I sat back, it hurt. Like if I sat back for a while, it started hurt. So I had to sit up. If I sat up for a while, it would hurt. So it got really bad. I really thought I was gonna have to see a doctor. It was really bad. And and one day I was sitting in the chair and I just realized my back wasn't hurting anymore. I'm like, um, <laughs> Like, wait a minute, my back is not hurting. So I just thank the Lord for that. He is such a healer, y'all. He is such a healer. So um, he, he he supernaturally healed my back. So I thank the Lord. I take my blood pressure pills. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, okay. So you do have blood pressure um, issues. Hmm. Maybe I can email you, Sister Loranda. I'll, I'll send you an email when I can, okay? So I have your email, so... I have to pull away from the chat. Don't want to seem rude, not ignoring anyone, but I have to get dressed. Glory to God. Yes, always ready to pray. Amen. Thank you so much, Sister Angie. I understand. So you are fine. I will see you later. Yes, we'll see you later in your stream. But you know, we got to pray. We got to pray. Praise the Lord at work. What have you planned? Thank you so much, sis. Sister Glenn. I don't know if you can hear me, but I appreciate you. <laughs> I really do. No, I don't do any stretches. Oh, wow. I am so happy you got healed of your back issue. Glory to God. Yes, I am waiting on my miracle. Wonderful testimony. Yes, sis, wait on your miracle. The Lord works miracle in different ways. Sometimes he does it supernaturally. Sometimes he put his super on your natural. You know, you do your natural things. He does his his part, you know, and it's different. It's different ways he want to do it. So we just trust him to do it. So just continue to walk by faith and trust him. Because I know even in the biblical days, there was some that had to do work. Some of them didn't have to do anything. Some of them had to dip seven times, you know. So we want to just make sure we always do our part. And I'm just so grateful to the Lord. Love you all. Love you so much. Listen, the Lord can heal through anyone. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. He can heal through anyone. He can do He can do anything he wants. And that's what I love. He's not like us. Amen, Brother Sarah said. <laughs> and Sister Tiffy said, um, Sister Gwen, hey, sis, I shared out your fairy tale video yesterday love the message amen it was a beautiful message i enjoyed it as well i really did and blessings to you all and your family have a wonderful day okay sister akodi sharia i thumbs up share out love you sister naturally thank you thank you all who shared me out because i'm not actually looking at my phone right now so if you share me out thank you so much because usually it'll show me on my phone so i really appreciate it if you share me out thank you and um i appreciate every last one y'all from the bottom of my heart all my mods i appreciate y'all i'm thinking about doing another mod giveaway like i did before so i might do something like that one day again that was that was really fun when i was in elementary school i had real bad stomach problems and this teacher i didn't even know touched my stomach and her hands were warm my stomach stopped hurting she told me not to tell anyone either <laughs> wow that's amazing that is amazing. I have had a miracle happen again one time. I had a really bad toothache when I was like in, I don't think, was it high school or college? I can't remember. No, I think it was college. And thank you, Shafante. I see you just shared me out. Thank you, sis. I appreciate it. And um, yeah, I was in college. And I was like, why don't you tell your stepdad um, the prayer over you? And I was like, mm -mm, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not doing that. So she she went and told him like she has a really bad toothache like it was so bad and and so he prayed over me and it was I actually like I felt something actually moving around in there like I felt something happening it was like like it just went away so the Lord is a healer he's 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 amazing so yes yeah, she has the anointing on her praise God amen yes she did <laughs> um brother Terrence said wow she probably so amen, amen. Thank y'all so much again for coming and I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I'm going to go into talking about um, my situation. I changed my title and let everyone know that it's about my mom. I was tagged by Craven Crochet. I actually have her, actually, you know what? I don't think I have her link. Okay, I put her name, but I didn't put her link in there because I forgot. So I need to put her link in here to um her page and to her story if one of my moms can go get sister um teresa craven crochet link and post it in the comment section i would appreciate that if you can do that for me um 
so she was talking about her situation on those that she knew that dealt with cancer. Well, I had a very personal um, situation. My mom, um, she was in her 40s. So I will be 40 next month, y'all. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I can't believe that I will be 40 next month. I'm just so grateful to the Lord to be able to say that, you know. So, um, but my mom and my dad, they passed while they was in their 40s. I'm trying to remember how old my mom was. I I wish my baby sister was in here. She's really good with remembering ages and stuff. But um, I think I think she was like 46, 47, something like that. And my dad, I was in high school when he passed. I was actually in the 11th grade going on 12th grade when he passed so um I didn't really have a relationship with my dad like that because I one day hopefully next week I'll kind of talk about my story a little bit but um this is more about my mom so um when she was when I was in college thank y'all so much thank you so much sister Vita and sister NHK for sharing her link and okay, Sister Vita shared her link, and Sister Sharina shared her actual link to her um, video she did about the cancer tag. So if you want to check out her video and go to her page, let her know I sent you. Become her family because I'm telling you that is my sister in Christ, and she's a beautiful sister. So please, please go ch um, check her out. But um, so my mom, my mom dealt with um, cancer when I was in. I'm trying to think I was in college I think it was my first year of college I took up um, college for business management because I wanted my own business I actually wanted my own hair salon I took up two years of cosmetology and I wanted to own my own hair salon this biggest you know just big hair salon <laughs> like gonna be huge I had all these ideas what I wanted and so um when I was in college my mom had got breast cancer and so I was going into my second year in college. So it was kind of hard dealing with that, trying to um, go to school. And my mom, I remember that day when she had breast cancer, that day when she was checking herself and she was like, do you feel this? And I'm like, what are you talking about? So she asked me to feel it. And it actually literally felt like somebody took a quarter and stuck it inside of her. It felt like that. And I'm like, what is that, mom? And so she went to go get it seen. And they said that it was cancer. And so that really um, just really like shocked me, like what? So my mom had to go through all the chemotherapy and all that. And she ended up having to lose, um, she had to get one of her breasts amputated. So um, she got her breast amputated and things seemed good. So they even made her like a, um, a false one. So when she go out and stuff, it wouldn't would be awkward or whatever. So you would never know what was going on. So she lost her hair. And I remember when she started losing her hair, like her skin was getting darker. She was just really going through a lot. And um, it was really hard at that time. So I couldn't really finish school. So I was in my second year of school. So I ended up dropping out of um, college to help my mom while she was going through all that with cancer, you know, trying to work and everything. And so um, while she was going through all that, everything got better. Her hair started growing back and she went through all the chemo stuff. But it was hard when she was going through that chemo. And I know Sister um, sister um, Carla, she went through that. And I know she talked about how it was hard, you know, not being able to move her arm. And it was, it was a lot on her. But thank the Lord, she had us. You know, we was older. We was able to help her around the house. You know, I have an older sister. I have a baby brother. We, he, he's five years younger than me. His birthday is actually two days after my birthday. So just imagine how birthday was around the house, y'all. Like, it was crazy because if we so we celebrate, most of the time we celebrate our birthdays together. So my mom would buy one cake and one half was my cake and one half was his cake. I'm like, I don't want to share cakes with <laughs> But it was all good, though. It was, it was good. But anyway, so... Um, everything was okay so we like okay everything's okay so my husband and I you know we met and then we end up we got married we actually got married in October but then we had a wedding in December so our wedding in December was December 7th and um my mom you know we was I was glad that we we did have a wedding because I was able to have my mom there and 
you know, we, I gave her her rose and everything. So she got to know my husband really good for a whole year. And he loved her so much. Like, cause he, him and his mom is like a really difficult relationship. <laughs> it's really hard to talk about. And all I do is pray for her. I really do. Um, but so he really got to experience a love of a mother. Cause my mom, she loved really big. And my mom was so protective over me, you know? So, oh, yeah, I just forgot. I'm going into my story and I meant to pray. Hey, sister, anointed, 777, daughter of Yah. Blessings to you, beautiful. Thank you so much for coming in. But let me stop right there. And I need to go into prayer because that's why I still had you up, Sister Sandra, so I wouldn't forget to pray. So let me go into prayer and then I'll go into um, my story. <sighs> Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come before you this day. And we just thank you, Lord, for being so good. We thank you, Lord, for keeping us. We thank you for this morning, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up, Lord, giving us strength, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for carrying us through this day, Lord. We know that you are a keeper. You promise to never leave us nor forsake us. And we're so thankful for that, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you would search our hearts, Father. Father, if there's anything there, Lord, that is not pleasing to you, please, Lord, take it out, Lord. Lord, cleanse us of all unrighteousness, Lord. We want you to continually create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us, Father. And Father, right now, we lift up our sister Sandra and um, her her friend's family, April's family, Lord, that um, passed away in September 28th, and then today is her birthday. Lord, we just pray, Lord, for your peace, which surpasses all understanding, Lord, to guard their hearts and mind in Christ Jesus. Lord, I know this is a hard time for them right now. But Lord, I pray, Lord, as they reflect on you, Lord, they realize how good you are. We know that it's appointed unto man to die, and so we all have a day that is going to be our last, and Lord, we want to make sure that we are ready Lord, we want to make sure every day, Lord, that we're looking out to you, which cometh thy help, because we know our help only comes from you, Father. And Lord, we just pray, Lord, you just give them your peace, Lord, your joy, your love. And anyone that's been connected to her that don't know you, Lord, I pray, Lord, that they will realize how life can be taken that quick and realize how much they need you. And they will turn their hearts unto you, Lord, that you will remove a stony heart and give them a heart of flesh, Father. We pray, Lord, that you would just allow your anointing, Lord, to just flow right now. Father, we pray. I pray, Lord, that I edify others, Lord, as I give my testimony, Father. I pray, Lord, that you would touch our sister Angie, Father. Lord, continue to touch her back. Thank you, Lord, for touching her feet. Lord, just touch her body, Lord Jesus. As she prays hard for you, Lord, and she praises, Lord. I was so blessed by the praises she was giving up yesterday. Lord, thank you, Lord, for that. And Lord, let her continue to have a praise in her heart no matter what, Father. Continue to be her strength, Father. And we just thank you, Lord, for your strength. Lord, it's so good. Lord, we just pray for Sister Lorenda's head, Lord. Whatever's going on there, that Lord, we know that sometimes these are signs of telling us something is going on in our bodies. And Lord, I pray, Lord, that you will show her what it is, Lord, even if she may have to go to the doctor to find out what it is and then be able to take natural remedies to help her with these headaches, Lord. I just pray, Lord, with the high blood pressure that she's dealing with, Lord, that you are a healer, Lord. You healed me of high blood pressure. You are not respectful person, Lord. You healed me supernatural of my back pain. And Lord, I know you could do the same for Sister Angie. I know you could do the same for Sister Lorenda, Lord. I trust you, Lord, for healing in their bodies, Lord Jesus. I trust you, Lord, for being the comfort to Sister Sandra and her family. Just like you are my comforter, Lord, when I lost my mom and my dad. Never got to have that true relationship with my dad like I wanted to but thank you Lord that you are my father and I can call you Abba Father because you're so wonderful so I just thank you Lord for all that you're doing and for all that you have done and we just give you the glory the honor and the praise in Jesus Christ Yeshua Hamashiach's precious holy name we pray amen amen thank you Jesus he's so wonderful hallelujah we serve a mighty God we serve a mighty God so let me try to take this off. Just continue to thank the Lord for your healing and for his touch and for all that he's doing. We just thank you, Father. He's so wonderful. Um, let me see. Some more people came in here. Uh, let's see. Um, everyone says hello to each other. I see you, Sister Gwen. Thank you, Sis Tiffy. Not watching or listening. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Just peeping when I get a chance. Don't be getting yourself in trouble, sis. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, sisters in all the chat. There's my sister. There you are. This is my sister, Craven Crochet. I was, I did have them drop your link to your video and your link to um your channel because I forgot to put it in the description, so I need to go back and put it in there. Thank you so much for tagging me. I really appreciate that you did that. I think this is very important. 
um, to talk about my sister, Lucinda. How are you, sis? I see you up here. Oh, there you go. Here you are. Hold on. Oh, there you go. Blessings, sweet sis Sharita, and all the chat. Blessings to you, my sweet sister. Thank you for coming in here. Um, sister Gwen is talking. Glory to God, Tiffy. Love you too. Amen. Thank y'all so much. Amen. To God be the glory. Um, oh, I don't know if you listen, Sister Gwen, but Brother Terrence said, hey, Sis Gwen. <laughs> um, so, and, okay. so where, where did I stop at? <laughs> Keep Philadelphia in prayer. They was, that's true. My, my um, husband showed me that, Sister um, Jess. He showed me that not too long ago too. And I was like, oh my goodness. But yeah, they um they were riding last night and just found out 30 police officers were injured. Yeah. They were, yeah. He showed me that. And I was like, oh my goodness, Lord. And I was just praying. Lord, we just we just lift up Philadelphia, Lord, and so many other cities and states, Lord, that are dealing with this. We know so many countries, and I've been writing so many of them on my prayer list and keeping it in prayer, Lord. We just pray, Lord, that you would just touch it touch philadelphia lord and we just pray that your spirit would just move around we we come against the enemy and his attacks that are trying to come against your people lord jesus because we know he hate us all he hate all my mankind whether you saved or not he hate us all because we are created in the image of god and lord i just pray for protection for my sis over there lord and protection lord for your people lord i just pray lord that you would just intervene lord you will have your way father we know, Lord, in the last days, so many things are going to be going on. There's going to be so much love lost for each other, Lord. And we just pray, Lord, that we as believers, Lord, will stick closer to each other, Lord, and just continue to love on each other and just be there one for another. And I just thank you, Lord, that I have a true family here that are there for each other. We are here for each other, and we're going to love each other to life. And I just pray, Lord, you just have your way, Father, because you're so good. You're a good, good Father. And we just bless, we just bless your name in Jesus' name. Yes, I've been playing for um, Cameroon. There was a shooting in a school, and eight kids went home to be with the Lord. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. This is what this not means from. Yes, it is. I'm so sorry, Lord Jesus. Lord, we just pray, Lord, for Cameroon, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you would touch the parents of those children that lost their children due to just the crime that's going on there, Father. We pray, Lord, for your peace, Lord, for those teachers and those, Lord Jesus, that have witnessed this event, Father. We pray, Lord, for their siblings, Lord, they had to lose a, a brother or a sister, Father, we just pray, Lord Jesus, that you would just wrap your arms around them, Lord. We pray, Lord Jesus, for your peace, which surpasses all understanding. I know, Lord, sometimes we may not understand why things are happening the way they are. But, Lord, we have to just trust and know that you are still good no matter what. And it just shows us we have to be grateful for where we at. We have to be grateful for our children. We have to be grateful for our husbands or our wives, those that are married. Lord, we have to be grateful, Father, for all that you have given us, our brothers and sisters, even our brothers and sisters in Christ. And we pray, Lord, that you would just touch Cameroon, Father. Lord, we just pray, Lord, that you would just send your holy angels around those there, Lord. Protect Sister Nogmeen and her family, Lord. Just the testimony of what she had to go through in her life blessed me so much when I watched her video and how she continued to persevere lord just continue to push and we know lord that it's your spirit that was in her and how she blesses so many of us lord continue to touch her father continue to protect her father and her home lord and we pray for so many out there lord we pray lord for your peace we pray lord that so many will be saved by this lord they will realize that we are in the last days and that they need you so many that have backslidden lord will come back to you lord Lord, those lukewarm Christians thinking I'm good, I can do whatever I want and still call myself saved, they will realize that, Lord, they have to live a sanctified life. They have to be separated for you, Lord. And we just pray, Lord, that you would just have your way. We pray that thy perfect will be done in that place, Lord Jesus, and in all our lives, Father. 
And we just thank you right now, Father, because you're so good. We thank you right now, Lord. And have your way in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Oh, gracious. That just hurt to hear that. That hurts. Yeah, Sister Miss Lena said she saw it on Instagram about that over there in Philadelphia. And it's really sad to hear that. Oh, thank you, Lord. You are so good. Even through all this, Lord, you're still good. Because we know that, Lord, you are coming soon. And all this will be over soon. Yes, Lord, comfort the parents, Father. Comfort the parents, Lord. Oh, we just thank the Lord. Do it all. Yes, bring people to Christ, Lord. No time to be lukewarm. Amen, says amen. No time to be lukewarm. We got to be on fire for Christ. We really do. We got to be on fire. Y'all, it is, is it 1240 already? <laughs> wow. I, okay. I don't know if I'll be able to get through my whole story. Maybe I can hang out a little bit longer than an hour. Because my children sound like they're being good out there. And so maybe hubby won't mind. I'll be like, look, I had to do some praying. You know the importance of prayer, right? Like prayer is so important. You got to pray. And it, it was definitely needed. It was definitely needed. Um, and I see like a lot of people have been posting about Nigeria and stuff. I was in somebody else's live and it was praying hard for Nigeria. And uh, I'm just so grateful that people are coming together praying for Nigeria, you know. So thank the Lord for that. But um, what I was saying about my mom, um, in 2003, I got married in 2003. And we had our wedding date um, December. We we got married in October, but we had our wedding date in December. And that was December 7th. I get those date confused sometimes, but December 7th was the wedding date and in 2003. And my mom passed away December of um, 2004. And that was December 6th. So she passed away the day before, well, the year of the day before um, our um, wedding, actual wedding anniversary, not when we actually got married. And so we was going to celebrate our um, our marriage on that date just because we honored my mom on that day. And um, she was able to be in the wedding and everything, but it was hard. Like she just passed and like, okay, we supposed to be celebrating it tomorrow. Like it just wasn't happening. So it was really hard. It was really hurtful because the cancer came back and she didn't know my mom was feeling sick. Something was going on, whatever. She didn't know what was, what it was. And let me take that off. And, um, found out when she finally went to the doctor, cause she was realized she wasn't having bowel movements and stuff. And so she was taking laxatives and nothing was working. And one day she was in so much pain. She went to the hospital. They went and they saw that her intestines was twisted. So they had to do emergency surgery to untwist it. And they found cancer there and when they found cancer there they um what is that called Col colon nos I, I can't think of it where you have like the bag they had to put like the intestines um in the bag i believe I, colon something i can't remember what it's called sorry family i can't comment like i want to i love you all we love you too sister jess you're fine we understand we know you're working so you're fine um so we let's you know hospice came and it was like well, she doesn't have long to live. So just imagine that was like a really big shock on us. And I'm like, what? She doesn't have long to live? That was really shock shocking. And so um, I want to kind of get into some other stuff. So I'm going to try to, um, try to um, hurry along. So my job, I contacted them and I was like, you know, I want to be able to stay home and, you know, I want to be able to help my mom go over there and take care of her because she had my stepdad take care of her and and so they said, well, okay, you can get approved for time off. And I had to wait until July. I mean, not July. I had to wait till January. So I'm like, January, that's, you know, a whole month. So I'm like, okay. I was thinking she'll be okay by the end. But um, she actually passed away December 6th. So it was really hard when she passed away because we didn't expect it. We was just, you know, it was that family that name it, claim it, you know, speak it, all that. <laughs> and I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with, with um, speaking things because we are to do that. The colon word. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the name of the actual thing. 
that that like the bad thing that they call it i can't think of it um but um i just really believe the lord is going to heal her you know it's like oh she's going to be fine she's going to be healed all that good stuff so um when hospice was like you know she's she's deteriorating i remember hearing my mom say you know just asking the lord like am i gonna die you know i remember her asking the lord that when she had a um like cane it was like the little walker thing and she was walking around the house and and she was she would just walk around the house praying and it got to the point where she was in a hospital bed we had a hospital bed there and she would just sometimes she would just be knocked out like she didn't know she was there yeah colonoscopy that's right how was okay colonoscopy bad colostomy bad <laughs> it's one of them yeah it's the bag yeah yeah i think it's colostomy the bag yeah i think that's what it is thank you because sister just said it too yes yes the colostomy bag that's what she had and she couldn't stand it because you know she just imagine somebody got to take you to the bathroom got to change it and all this stuff it's kind of embarrassing and so I can understand she didn't feel comfortable. And that's why I wanted to be able to be there to help her um, by taking a leave on my job. But um, it was it was really hard for her. But then she started really going down fast. And, you know, my stepdad was like, y'all gonna have to, you know, let her go and, you know, say your goodbyes and everything. And I just wasn't ready for that. I'm like, no, because me and my mom, we was really close. Like we was really close. And she was like my best friend. And she was always very protective of me growing up just because of the way my dad treated me. Um, I don't know. It was like he hated me or something. I never did anything to him. So I couldn't understand it. But I later on found out why he felt that way because he didn't think I was his child. So I was like, oh, okay. But that's still not my fault, you know. But anyway, so she, um, you know, I was like, well, Lord, you know, I don't want to hold it to my mom if it's for her to leave. And so my aunt and them, we got family up north in Baltimore. My sister, NHK, Natural Hair Chronicles, that is my cousin by marriage. She's married to my cousin. And um, so his mom, her and my mom was very, 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 very close. Like how me and NHK is, we like, we like this, y'all. <laughs> so, um, and my sister Jess and Marcel, OBW, and Be a Blessing um, Podcast, we are all close. And so um, she... Um, but me and NHK, we we was I know sister um Marcel before before any anybody else. But I'll talk about that another day. But anyway, so um yeah, they came down to see my mom. So my mom was just kind of out of it. So they was praying with her and I was just getting off work. My husband was bringing me home, um, bringing me over there because they was all over there. They just came down from Baltimore and they was all over there. So when I came in there, my mom just came too, like she was just in a daze and they were just holding her hands and she was just in a daze. She didn't even know who was there. And then as soon as me and my husband walked in there, she just kind of lit up, you know? And I'm like, oh, wow, we got family here. And she's like, oh my goodness. She started naming everybody. It was like, oh my goodness. You know, naming her sister, her brothers and naming everybody. So my sister was like, who is that? Who is that? And she was just naming that Sharita, that's so-and-so. She was like, oh, I'm so good to see y'all. And she was just talking to us all happy. And I'm like, weren't y'all here for a while? And it was like, we've been here with you all this morning. And she didn't even know it. And as soon as she named everybody named y'all, I kid y'all not, as soon as she saw all of us and named our names, she went right back into that state right back into that state and she never came out of that state and so my aunt and them went back to Baltimore as soon as they made it into Baltimore that's when they got the call that my mom passed away so and I just feel like that was the Lord to get her one last chance to see us again and that just truly blessed me you know I would never take take um take that for granted uh, let me switch this up um, I will never take that for granted. And I don't know why I got my headphones on. Um, so, yeah, that's what it is, Miss Lena. That's what it is. Uh, um, colonoscopy bag. Yeah, that's that's what it is, colonoscopy bag. Yes. So, I'm like, I thought it sounded a little bit different than that. Okay. Yes, that's what it is, colonoscopy bag. Oh, thank you, Sister Tiffy. Thank you. So since then, you know, I'm just like, okay, 
you know, I just wanted to start making changes in my life. And when I, when I did deal with the high blood pressure, that's when everything, I made changes before then, but that's when I made like a, a huge change in my life since that. And I changed the way I eat and everything. I changed so much about my life and hopefully next Tuesday, I'm going to more about me and, you know, just the different things in my life that I experienced and why I eat certain ways and what I eat and all that good stuff. So hopefully I'm going to that. Um, but I thank the Lord for that because that started me doing the um, this ASK, which is the I Am Heal Foundation, which I never got to really finish it. I would love to be able to um, get back into that. But um, it, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of money involved in that. Um, with trying to do it. So one year I decided, and I'm going to share, um, hold on, let me get to it. Okay. So I want to share what, what we did. My condolence to you, sister naturally. Thank you so much. Anointed sis. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yes. Mom, actually my mom's, I got on pink because my mom's favorite color was pink and my mom's birthday was October 3rd. So she was born in October and she loves pink. And it's something that the, you know, the October pink thing with the pink ribbon, which I don't, I do not endorse the pink ribbon. And I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to um, let y'all know about that. Um, why I don't endorse the pink ribbon, but um, my mom, yeah, she, <laughs> she was such a beautiful person. So I just thank the Lord for her because she raised us up in the Lord. And I'm so grateful I'm so grateful for that. Um, Sister Lucinda said, that is so beautiful, Sister Sharita. Such a wonderful memory of your mom lighting up when you got there. Amen. Yes, it was. It blessed me so much because that's exactly when she lit up was when I walked in that door. And it was like, the Lord's like, okay, the last person is here. Now I want you to see everybody. And that blesses me so much. It really does. It's pronounced colonoscopy. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, colonoscopy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sis Lena. Thank you for that. Okay, so um, I decided to come up with the um, I Am Heal Foundation, and my slogan has always been Ask ASK, which is my oldest daughter initials. Um, her name is Amaya Sakanga King, and I got that from Ask Seek Not because it was really hard for me to get pregnant at first, and I will share that. I shared my testimony and this is my story. This is my song testimony. Well, I could talk about that later. Um, and so that has just been something that stuck with me. Um, so with the I Am Hill Foundation, I decided to do a giveaway. And this was the package right here that I did. I wanted to help and bless someone because I know my mom dealt with weight loss. I'm sorry, not weight loss, dealt with hair loss. And um, so I had a sister of mine named Ratasha. She made the crochet. Um, hair hair um, bow and i did like the easy at tea easy at tea is is really good for those who deal with cancer um it has healed so many people can't let me be careful what i say about the word healed because they don't like hearing words like that so um it, ha it helped some people with that element and also um included some um hair product with it and i i handmade um this wig so this was the giveaway package so this is the the wig that i handmade um so we decided to do a giveaway and in the giveaway let me see if i can we had people i had a website my friend set up a website for me let me see if i can go to my information she set up a website for me for those who were dealing with cancer or they knew someone who dealt with cancer or they knew there was or there was a cancer survivor so you would either have to be dealing with cancer you knew someone was dealing with cancer or you knew someone was a cancer survivor or you are a cancer survivor to be in this giveaway. And so I had, I can't wait to watch the video. I am back. I'm sorry. My neighbor is elderly and she called. So she need me. Okay. Well, praise the Lord for you, sister Diana, for helping her. And so um, what I did was I had people like give their story. You had to give your story or you had to share a story or someone you love. So the winner of this one, I want to read her story. It's very touching. Um, and she she was currently battling with cancer at the time. So she said, I'm a 53-year-old Black woman who at the age 26 was diagnosed with CNS, 
neurosarcoidosis, and my sister-in-law is dealing with sarcoidosis right now. Um, have you ever heard of this? This is an ultimate form of this disease that predominantly affects Black women. The rarity of my presentation have caused to go through brain surgery, organ removal, and a host of other treatments. She said it's too numerous to mention. After a year of affliction in 2012, I developed anal cancer. And I believe I did this giveaway in 2014. November of 2014 was when I did um, this giveaway. Needless to say, my hair has suffered from experimental medications because um, before and now after by chemo and radiation. I went from being a curly girl natural to a type 4 dry zigzag pattern, which is not bad because I'm a zigzag pattern. Y'all, look, looks can be deceiving, can it? <laughs> Shrinkage is real, y'all. Anyway, so um, yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm a zigzag girl. So it's just knowing how to care for your hair, and maybe I do a live on that one day. But anyways, um, she said I've tried wigs, but nothing ever looked natural. This is the problem I had with so many people, and this is why I love when I did my wigs. I helped people who dealt with um with wig issues because they always said they couldn't find anything that looked like their hair texture. So she said that um, I tried wigs, but nothing ever looked natural. And because of my small head, petite wigs are hard to find, not to mention the cost of a custom made wig. Even though I'm doing well, every time I look at my hair, it causes me deep despair. I'm grateful for life, but just for once, I would like to have that feeling of confidence that a nice natural hairstyle can give. Sincerely, Ro. And I can't even imagine that, you know, just losing my hair like that. I saw when my mom dealt with that and lost her hair. And her story really touched us. Um, and But you know what? She was not our first choice, though. Even though her story touched us so much, so much, we had another winner. It was very hard. It was very hard between her and the other girl. But I'm going to tell you about the other girl. But she ended up, she ended up winning. And I'm going to show you all a picture of her. This is her. Um, she was the winner. This is my first ever giveaway. And hopefully one day I can do another one. Um, so she said, see the photo of me before and after. I'm just loving my new. Um, so she told me, let me see if I can pull up. She said, hold on. Okay, so here's her testimony for her winning. She said, hello, my dear sister in Christ. I have received the package you sent and the other lovely gifts. I can't tell you about the positive impact it has made on me. My daughter is giving me a full body makeover soon. And at that time, I will send you before and after pictures. Continue your work in Christ's name. I pray for abundant blessings for you and your business. Praise his name, Rosemary. So that blessed me, y'all, somewhat. <laughs> That bless me so much. Um, my brother has stage four lung cancer. I'm sorry, Sister Diana. I didn't know that. She was saying her goodbyes at that point. Yes, Miss Lena, she was. Yes, she was. And I appreciate that. The Lord allowed her to do that. Even though I used to have countless of dreams about her still being alive, that, that used to really, it felt so real. So it used to really um, mess with my mind. It really did. Um, I'm sorry, Sister Diana. Can you please give me, when you get a chance, can you send me your brother's, um, send me his name. Lord, we just pray you touch your brother's body, Lord. Um, is he willing to act like his body? I'll send you some information. Stage four, like lung cancer? No, that can be, you can see, he can take care of that in the name of Jesus. He can take care of that. It's so many things naturally on this earth the Lord has given us to take care of our bodies. I'm going to switch to plant-based life soon. Want to be healthy. And be here for my new grandbabies and great grandbabies. Amen. We want to be healthy. Now, I have switched to plant-based before, Sister Lena. But I end up having, I see, I'm, I believe because of my blood type. My blood type is O positive and O positive are meat eaters. And I lose a lot of weight. Like right now, I have been, <laughs> the Lord has just had me on a fast. And um, when I go on a long fast or if I eat um, plant-based, I lose a lot of weight. And so right now I'm kind of underweight. So I got to try to get my weight back up. <laughs> I was like, uh, you losing a little bit too much weight. And I'm like, yeah, I am. 
I need to, my, I don't know, but when I go into a fast, my body doesn't really crave food like that. It, it's, it's like, it's longing more of God, you know? So it's like my spirit wants more of the Lord and my body just don't even want food like that. So I have to like, okay, you got to eat something. So right now I'm just eating a lot of um, fruits and vegetables and stuff. So I do need to get back to eating meat again, but I'm very particular with my meats. If I can't get organic, it has to be not antibiotic meat. I won't eat anything else. I won't any. I won't do it. So, um, and I don't eat meat every day. So, um, it's just eating in moderation because you know you can't eat meat if you give thanks to it. Give thanks to the Lord, not to the meat itself, but <laughs> give thanks to the Lord. But um, they have tainted a lot of our foods out here. And if you do go plant based, make sure you be careful what you get because a lot of the stuff out there are genetically modified, like the corns and the the soy, a lot of it is very heavily modified. Then they heavily sprayed. It's it's a lot going on out there. You know, it's like you do so much better if you can grow your own, but I know it's not always possible. So um, just pray as to what to lead you and what to do and what to eat and making sure you be careful of those things in your diet. But yes, you're right, Sister Chifante. You can do it. It can be done. You put your mind to it because I'm telling you, um, going plant-based really caused me to lose like tremendous amount of weight when I was pregnant <laughs> after I had my babies like I was able to lose weight but my last two babies I was able to lose weight without even going plant-based just by um, changing up my eating habits um, praise the Lord brother um, Brandon said amen Miss Lena I stand in agreement with you amen uh, sorry about your brother Diana praying yes we praying with you Amen. We trust the Lord for his healing in Jesus' name. Thank you for encouraging me, sis. Me and hubby have given up red meat. Oh, awesome, sis Tiffy. You know what? My husband was just saying that about giving up red meat. I do eat it sparingly. It, like I said, it has to be organic or um, not antibiotic, but I don't eat it a lot. Actually, because of my blood type, I really can't eat red meat, um, but I don't eat it a lot. And um, I think the best thing to do is to, if, if you want to go more plant-based, I would say eating fish is really good for you. But if you're going to do fish, it has to be wild-caught. It can't be um, farm-raised. Farm-raised fish and wild-caught fish does cost more. So <laughs> just let you know. Farm-raised fish is um, very bad. Very bad. So I can't really go into that more because I know I'm like a little over my time. So maybe one day I can talk about that. But wild-caught fish get wild-caught. Um, okay, so I still got to open this package, y'all. So um, I want to do that before I get off, off of here. And Sister Diana said, Hub, Sister Pamela, thank you. Oh, and thank you so much for that beautiful yarn. I was going to have my daughter go get. And thank you for the card, but she hasn't been around. Oh, uh, I tell you, Sister Pamela is so sweet. Just just being such a blessing. Uh, you, yeah, you are such a blessing. I still eat little red meat. Yes. I still eat a little bit of red meat too, but um, like I said, I'm very particular on what type of red meat I eat. So um, everybody body is different, especially like blood type. People follow different regimen. Like I do like the keto regimen, but I'm not strict keto. Um, I like the alkaline regimen, but I'm not strict alkaline because I do eat meat and alkaline, you can't have meat. So I feel like you should take what works for your body and take here and there. I am thinking about doing the gas um, regimen which includes a lot of probiotic type meals. And I used to make a lot of my probiotic stuff. I still do some things, but I want to go back to that. It was kind of hard. You start having a lot of children and stuff. It gets hard to like start hand making a lot of your own personal things. Like I used to, I used to make my own sourdough bread and it had a lot of probiotics in it. I used to get raw milk and make my own curds and whey. I mean, I did a whole lot of stuff, y'all. So I want to go back to doing a lot of things again that I used to do, but um, top, you know, step by step. It's going to take time to get back in that, but I'm very particular about what I eat. So, um, why I buy it, it tastes so good. What? Oh, hold on. I still eat. Wild caught is expensive. I know it is. <laughs> Girl, they be throwing them sales. You got to catch it when those sales going on. But wild caught is, um, is expensive. When I buy it, it tastes so good. Yes, it does. Oh, I thought you said why, but yeah. Yes, wild caught is so good. And it's healthier for you, you know. And, you know, just using things like sea moss and stuff. It's really good. So let me try to move on. I want to tell y'all about the lady who was going to win. Where am I? Hold on. 
Okay, so I'm going to tell you about this girl named Keisha Rose, which um, my heart was really broken. Keisha Rose, she's actually um, a cancer victim. Cancer took her life. Um, she actually had someone who put her in the contest. And here's her, here's her story. Um, Keisha, the person said Keisha is... Her, okay, so this is her her friend Cheryl sent this um, story. Keisha is my sister from another mother. Just seven months after having her second child and a month before her 33rd birthday in June of 2012, Keisha was diagnosed with breast cancer. She made the decision to have a mas mastectomy, that's what my mom had, uh, to try to shorten the treatment time so that she could get back to a normal life and take care of her two children, 11 year old girl and a seven month old boy. Wow. After the mastectomy and being placed on estrogen blockers, she discovered that not only was the cancer not gone, but that it had spread to her lungs. She was immediately placed on chemotherapy. After a scan, Keisha was told that she had a spot on her brain. She underwent radiation and the spot was gone. She then continued her chemo treatment. Recently, during her latest hospital stay, we found out that the cancer had spread to her adrenal gland on top of her kidney and that the spot on her brain was reappeared, has reappeared. The original spot on her lung has increased in size and number. Despite her circumstances, she has kept a positive outlook and has not allowed cancer to affect her spirit. Because of her positive, um, I'm sorry, because of her positive outlook, of her situation and life period, I believe she would be the perfect candidate for this giveaway. And this is the reason why she was going to be our original. She was going to be our original winner. Uh, that just touched us so much to hear this, like all that she went through. And yet she continued to stay positive through it all. But as soon as we was going to announce our winner, her friend contacted us and said that she lost her life, her battle with cancer. And so that really hurt to hear that. And so um, this dear sister was the winner. And she looked so beautiful. And, um, you know, we just pray for our family. She had, you know, small children. And that's why I can't imagine not being here for my children. Just knowing that I'm about to reach the age of 40. I can't imagine not being here for my children. My mom passed away. My little sister was 14 years old. And so... That was very hurtful to know that my sister didn't get to have my mom, you know, have her mom the rest of her life. And I just love my little sister. We are so close and she's like my best friend <laughs> and how the Lord just changed her, you know, and I pray that one day she gives her testimony because she has such a beautiful testimony. And um, it was just, you know, just touching. I know it is very sad. Hey, my sister Carla. And Sister Carla has a beautiful testimony how the Lord touched her when she dealt with cancer. That I mean, your testimony is so beautiful. So beautiful. Miss Lena said, my sis had sarcoidosis. It affected her lungs. She passed in May 2013. My sis was sick for many years and was due to, to have a double lung transplant. Oh, my goodness. But couldn't get the surgery done because of other issues. I'm so sorry, Miss Lena, to hear that. Mm. I'm telling you, just so many things that affect the people. And this is the reason why, you know, I'm determined to live a healthy life. I'm determined to be here. I'm going to do my part to be here for my babies. You know, I'm like, I lost my mom and my dad. I refuse for that curse to follow me. Mm -mm. I'm going to do my part to be here and trust the Lord that he's going to continue to keep me. And I just think about that day when we was on the road um, that night and we was in a car and I lost control of my car. And how the Lord just took control of that car. I had all my babies in the car, me and my babies. And uh, I just, I'm just so grateful for life, y'all. Don't take life for granted. Don't take each other for granted. Love each other. Love each other hard. Because you never know. You know, you never know. So, yeah. Um, so that was the, the story I wanted to share with y'all. And just continue to pray. And when she was talking about how the chemotherapy, I I know some people go through the chemotherapy, but realize that radiation is really bad. It's hard. Even though, like she said, it got rid of it, 
But see, that radiation, that's like putting a cell phone to your head and sleeping on a pillow every night. It's going to make it worse. It might get rid of it, but it's it's get, it's putting, um, it, it's, hurt, it's harming the body more than it's helping it. It may seem like it's helping it. So that's, therefore, when you do go through cancer and stuff, you want to start doing things to help act around your body, get your body right. And if anybody need um, the information I have regarding um, cancer remedies, let me know. I do um, have information on the Easy at Tea. That's something that I sell. There are different herbs that you put together. The lady name is Cassia who came out with it. She came out with this tea. She made it, she blended it and made it. So um, I was able to do my own using the herbs and blend it and make it. And what you do is when you use that tea, it helps the body and heals the body of any cancer ailments. Right now, my grandma on my dad's side, I don't really share a lot of things about my dad because I would never want my grandma on my dad's side to ever know what her son did to me. I would never want her to know that because um, I never want her to be hurt. I would never want her to be hurt by that. So I'm just really careful with what I say when it comes out to my dad. But I know she's not on YouTube. So. Um, but the baking soda lemon water remedy, you can take one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of lemon juice, or you can use lemon essential oil. The only essential oil I... I only promote is Young Living Essential Oil because I use it. It works. I use it on myself, on my children. I add it to my water. This company is amazing. I love this company. Um, and uh, one cup of water, and you do that every day. Um, what you do is you heat the water over a low flame so that it can become warm. And you take the water off the flame and stir in the baking soda and the lemon juice and you drink it warm. Um, there are other things you can do. I um, have the baking soda, raw apple cider vinegar, just different things. If you want that information, let me know. I love sending important information to my customers. I send that to them. So if they ever need it, they have it. Another thing that some people don't know, um, for those who have heart, like if some, if you around somebody you have a heart attack, you can take um, cayenne pepper and put it down their throat. It will help them with the heart attack. It will, it will save their life. Um, so research that, y'all. Um, thank you so much for sharing. Cancer took my dad in 2008. I'm so sorry, sis. Maybe I could tag you, sis Pamela. Have you done this? I don't know if you've done it because I need to tag somebody in here. And I would love to hear your story about your dad. I would love to hear that. Um, please email the information. I will I will email you the information, sis. Um, did you give me this already? Um... I don't think I gave it to you, Sister Tiffy. I'll email it to you. I'll email it to you. Praise the Lord for blessing you to know about natural remedies. <laughs> Sis, I, I thank the Lord every day. I thank the Lord for you because you just came up. I just took you. No, I didn't even gonna say I took you under my wings. You actually jumped in my wings. <laughs> and I mean, it, it's such a blessing when you have people around you that want to learn about natural remedies and what they can do to the point where she start making her own stuff and making her own things for her home. I, I'm, I'm just so blessed. I am private about things like that. I understand, sis. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that though, but I understand about that being private about things. Yes, you do have to um, be led when it comes out to sharing different things. And um, my mom, she writes a lot of poems and thank you, Lord, I have a lot of her poems. I do want to use them. So maybe I might use them on my channel one day. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, but I'll, I have she I have like a, a notebook of her poems. She has beautiful poem job. So and she did she did children poems. Um, thank the Lord I was able to get my hands on those of her of her poems. So I'm so grateful for that. Um, but I also want to kind of talk about one more thing. Susan G. Coleman. Um, and I know a lot of people. Might not be happy with me about this, but hey, I got to tell the truth. I got to tell the truth about her because um, a lot of people endorse the pink. Um, I know that they, you go to the grocery store and they say, do you want to give for this cause? And you, you're doing it from your heart because you really want to help. But th this is the, a research. That's all I'm going to say. Research Susan G. Coleman, um, the, the truth about her. But um, she's exposed. <laughs> Because um, so many people run for this cure, this cure for cancer. Um, these people, they are getting a lot of money um, for this. And 
they are not looking for a cure, y'all. They're not. Um, but they say October is, you know, they're looking for a cure, but October is not for um for the prevention. October is really just to make you aware of it and that, you know, give to this foundation and whatever. But did you know that February is really cancer prevention month? February, but see, many of y'all don't know this because um, they do not want to pre prevent it. They just want to celebrate October where they claim to look for a cure, but they actually just want to keep you sick. Um, so I would just say, please look for this because a lot of times we have to be careful about saying cures and talking about natural things because YouTube will shut you down or they will try to um, run you off. It was one lady who was selling her easy at teeth. And she was giving testimony of her dad, how he got cured from Easy at Tea. And, you know, she got a, a email. No, she got a letter from, who did she get a letter from? She got a letter from somebody, FDA or something. And they told her that um, she needed to stop claiming those things and that they was going to shut her down. So she went on and shut her business down. They pretty much ran her off. So... It's really sad. They do not want you finding cures and answer to these things, you know. Pink washing. Yes, pink washing. They have products that cause cancer. Thank you, sis. Yes, exactly. Really, wow, that's awful. Wow, I did not know that. Yeah, it's it's true. They are pink washing. And they, they tell you one thing, but it's really something else. And a lot of their products that they promote, if you go on there, they promote a lot of products that's, um, that that has cancer and a lot of these businesses that they have um like kfc and stuff like that that has the ribbon all of them are um all their food is filled with things that that's harmful to you so so yeah um i wanted to share that they support hold on they support companies that have been linked to have chemicals that cause cancer yes they, yes yes that's messed up it really is messed up and that's why um that's why we need to just really do our research on these companies. And that's the reason why, you know, I won't be ashamed to expose them because a lot of people are wearing those ribbons. We're making those ribbons and stuff, but we don't know what we're doing, you know? So um, I'm here to try to help you as much as I can naturally. If you have any natural, you know, anything going on in your bodies. So I'm going to open this um, up. But before I do, I want to show you something new I have that i created um this is this is gonna this is the children's line um now you're probably wondering what in the world is that but this is um the children's line soap and i have some other things that's coming to the children's line this is actually an eczema bar i made some um products for sister Brittany, um who is with um the fruitful wife her daughter um has eczema issues and she ordered some stuff for me and this is something new that I'm adding to my children's line. So I have a children's line that I'll be coming out soon. I'm so excited at the ideas the Lord has given me. He's given me so many ideas that's just popping up in my mind. And I'm just so excited. So um, just watch out for my website, y'all. I don't have this on my website yet. But for those who don't know my website, um, I don't know. Let me see if I can drop my website in the link. I don't know if my mods um, have it right away. So let me try to drop my website in my link. Real quick. Hold on. Oh, oh yeah. I can post it right here. All right. So that is my website. And sis Tiffy has ordered some stuff. Y'all, I, I I get orders from a lot of y'all over there. And I'm going to shout y'all out. My sister Carla, bless me. She orders hair products for me. My sister Jess, she orders soaps. And she orders some body butter for me. My sister OVW. Y'all always order stuff for me, and um, and I'm supposed to be getting back with you about some products, so I will be getting back to you hopefully today or tomorrow about that. And my sister, time with Tiffy, order some teas with me, so from me, so I'm excited. I'm so glad you love them. And um, my sister, NHK Natural Hair Chronicles, we're always giving each other stuff or giving each other ideas, and we're always going back and forth. Hold on, is my daughter here? Oh, I see you, baby girl. <laughs> praying that God heals. Amen, brother Tina. Yes, we praying. That's my stuff. My daughter, Annie Toons, y'all. That's my where I got my ASK from. <laughs> yes, my daughter. I love you so much. 
I was telling her this morning how grateful I am for her. She is just such a blessing. Such a blessing. Yes, we really have to do our research. Amen, sis. We really do. Because um, we just don't know, you know, about a lot of things they do into our products and our food and the things you put topically on your body. Don't you know that your skin is the largest organ? So we got a lot of holes in our skin. So whatever you're using topically on your skin, it's easier to get to your bloodstream than it is to actually take it internally because it's at least it's being processed through the stomach and the liver and all this stuff. So it's it's really a lot when you use a lot of things on your on your skin. Um, it's, it's really harmful. But well, Sister Carla said, didn't know that, but I always say October Breast Cancer Awareness Month and take this time to bring awareness to their bodies. Yes, and getting the cells checked. Wow, this information is terrible. It is terrible. And about the getting getting yourself checked, some people may not agree with me on this, but after my research, I do not get mammograms. And I know people say, you should be the one to get mammograms because your mom passed with cancer. No, I should be the one taking care of my body as the word tells me to because those mammograms do excrete um, radiation out of it. And I know they say, well, it's just a small part. And if if you're okay with that, then fine. But I just at least want you to know that's what it does. If you're okay with them excreting a little bit of radiation into your body um, from the mammograms, you can do your research. If you're fine with it, then then that's okay. But I am not fine with that at all. So yeah, I just decided to just do natural things and take care of my body naturally because I already deal with an ailment, which I don't claim this. It's called PCOS, which is um, polycystic ovarian syndrome um, that I deal with ever since I was younger. And that's why it was harder for me to get pregnant. And I had a lot of things going on in my body. So I am very careful about what I put in my body and especially like things that's soy, that's estrogen rich, you know, just harmful. I'm really careful about that. So um, blessing to my beautiful niece, Annie Tunes. I love you. Yes. And that's why I'm, I'm just, you know, doing everything I can to try to help my children with eating healthy, doing my fruits and vegetables and things like that, because I would never want my daughters to have to go through what I have went through and what I'm still dealing with, with that, you know, I don't ever want, want her to deal with that. Too cute. Oh, thank you, sis. <laughs> yes, the soap that I did. I just thank the Lord for that idea he gave me. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, I got some other things up my sleeve, y'all, that I'm gonna so y'all. I'm telling y'all, stand up late, get up early. It's it's a lot, but it's worth it. It's worth it. So that's my website right there. Um, everyone. NWA, I went back to making my own body butters with oils and shea butter. Praise the Lord. And that's that's what it's about, you know. That's what I was saying. Like, um, Sister Brittany Blue for why she did a shout out for me this morning. I thought that was a blessing. She showed the things I made, and I was saying, you know, you know, if you don't buy from me, I'm okay. I want you to be able to know about these natural things. You know, if you can't get it from me, you start buying your own butters and stuff. Stop using that stuff in the grocery store. Stop using those lotions and those soaps in the grocery stores because those things are harmful. To your body's going right through your skin all those toxins that's in there you know naturally such a blessing you have five kids <laughs> thank you sis yes it really is a blessing and i have one with the lord resting in the lord so i'm truly blessed to um say that he has blessed me because at one point i thought i couldn't have children and i was just like well maybe lord you're saying i can't i mean three years three years of marriage nothing so that was the Lord. That was the Lord. And I said, you know what, Lord? He gave me that scripture. If I ask and I seek and I knock, I trust you, Lord. You're going to bless me with a child. And I said, Lord, my first child is going to be a girl. I already said it. I already knew my first child was going to be a girl. And he blessed me with a girl first. <laughs> I need to get my order in for some teas. Yeah, I will hit you up soon, especially the tea for pressure. Yes, sis, please contact me. I got you. You know I do. I love y'all so much. <laughs> Thank you, sis. I appreciate it. Now I need to find info about toothpaste, soaps, et cetera. Well, sis, actually me and um, Natural Hair Chronicles did a live. It was, um, I can't remember what we named it, but it was about Young Living Essential Oil. And um, that's where I get where I get my toothpaste. It's filled with therapeutic essential oils in it and stuff. And plus I make my own, like I make my own tooth powder. So you can make your own too. I haven't put it out for sale or anything like that, but I make my own two powders and things. And Sister um, Sharina from Natural Hair Chronicles, she makes a lot of her products. And she sells her products too, y'all. She just don't have a website and stuff. 
it together yet. And I know, I think she's like moving slow with it um, because she is homeschooling and stuff. So it's a lot of work when you're homeschooling and, <laughs> and you got a lot going on. But the work is, it, it's, it's wonderful when it's being a blessing to people, you know. So yes, sis, I'll probably, we'll probably do another one. I think next month, sis NHK, I know you probably taking care of the children, but whenever you can type, can you um let me know? Next month, we're going to do a lot together, right? Because I think we want to go into talking about more natural things again. So um, I love natural soaps and body butters. I need to make my toothpaste again. Yes, sis, you do. Or either get it from Young Living. You with Young Living. But yes, um, I love it too. I need to get that eczema soap for my daughter. She needs it. She gets really bad itching sores that sometimes bleed. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Teresa, we need to talk because um, my baby girl, um, she is now for y'all. I don't know if, if y'all know this, but my last two children, I had them at home. <laughs> so my baby girl, I had her in the tub, y'all. Just me and the Holy Spirit. It was a beautiful experience, but... Um, she deals with, and I know I'm almost 30 minutes in, y'all, so I'm going to try to close this out soon, but um, she dealt with eczema really bad on her legs, and what I did was um, I was doing my own natural things, and I took CMOS. Y'all, I make CMOS, too. You can use CMOS internally, and you can use it externally, and I would take CMOS sometimes, and I would rub it on that area of her um, leg. She had it like a crease, the back of her leg, and she had it right at the bottom of her leg, right before her foot. And I used to put um, sea moss on it and um, I used to do like my natural butter. So I made um, Sister Brittany for her daughter. I made her butter for her daughter and soap for her um, to use as well as my soap. So I'm sorry to hear that. I pray the Lord just touch her body. And I did let her know as well. And this is for everyone. I, I was going to go into this more, but I'm going to this later. That whatever is going on externally, it could possibly be something going on internally. So watch what you're eating. A lot of foods that we eat can harm our skin and our body start reacting. Like you start getting scalp issues um, while you're getting um, losing hair or things like that. It could be something going on internally in your body. Okay, so um, make sure you watch what you eat or what your children are eating. And sometimes you might have to like start cutting back on a lot of stuff and start slowly eating um, certain things just to see what it is that you know you can totally cut out your diet. And I'm just so grateful that we are in that time where people are starting to look look at their health. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I want to say this. Don't ever think that, um, you know what, well, I can't eat healthy. I can't eat natural because my money is low. Look, we had issues with money. Um, and I was thinking, Lord, I don't know how to be able to eat the way I want to eat. Yeah. But guess what? The Lord is such a keeper. And you have to always remember that, Lord. If you do your part and say, Lord, I want to eat healthy. I want to make a change in my life. The Lord will work it out. He'll, he'll let you find places or people selling there. They homegrown their stuff or the sales. Whatever it is, he'll do. He'll do it. And see, that he, do, he does it for me all the time. So I just thank the Lord for that. I'm able to find sales. Go online, start finding coupons, clipping coupons, online coupons. You know, just, just trust in the Lord and doing your part. Um, look at that lady that had 14 kids. Oh, yeah, Sister Diana, you told me about her. Uh uh. See, I couldn't do that. No, I couldn't do that. So, like, after my daughter, um, my husband's supposed to get um, the surgery, and it didn't work out because the Lord said, You need one more child. So, we ended up having my son. So, my midwife was there this time. So, I had him on the bed. Yeah. And then after that, the Lord just worked it out. So, you know, so thank the Lord we have our five here. And I'm looking forward to seeing my baby that's resting in the Lord. Um, would you say, hey, really, brothers and sisters, hey, hey, crazy crochet? No, I'm just <laughs> we know what you mean. Okay, I'll get in touch with you later. Thank you so much, Miss Lena. I'm here for you. All of y'all, I'm here for y'all. I need all this information if you don't mind. <laughs> okay, Miss Pamela. Okay, now if I forget some, please just let me know. Because I'm always sending out information. I love helping people. I love helping people as much as I can. I love you so much more, Sister Teresa. Yes. Okay. Sister Tiffany said, the teas are so delicious. I bought a loose leaf organic mint medley herbal tea and organic apple cider tea from her. Yes, you did, sis. And I so thank you for buying that from me. And 
I'm saying it was so much fun um, making that those teas because I love blending teas together and making them, and um, it really did um, it, it really did um, bless us to make that. Me and my daughter was like doing some experiment. Maybe one day, like I can do a live showing y'all how we do our things and just like do different blends and stuff, or maybe make a video of it. Uh, I just thank you so much for loving it. Uh, thank you. I appreciate your support. Gracie Oil is great for eczema too. Yes, Gracie Oil is good. And also, um, um, what's that other oil? Um, Primrose. Primrose Oil is amazing, y'all. Primrose Oil is amazing. Um, it's not cheap, but make sure you get unrefined. It's amazing um, to use. Um, Genesis was born in the tub, right, sis? Yes, she was, sis. She was born in the tub, just me and my baby. It was um, around midnight. We actually had to try to figure out what time she was born because my midwife was like, well, can we approximate the time? Because <laughs> um, my midwife wasn't there. And then when I finally got a hold of my midwife, um, she was coming to me and ended up getting in an accident, car accident. So she had to send another midwife to come and help me. And I had to like, call my husband. And I'm like, you know, I'm blowing his phone up. He's asleep. All, the whole house is asleep. So I'm like, how am I going to get out this tub? Because I couldn't move. I was so weak after all that. I couldn't move. And I had to just yell his name. And he came in there. And he, y'all, If y'all could have seen the look on his face, it was so funny. Oh, my goodness. It's so funny. Like, he, he couldn't. He, he didn't know what to say. He didn't. Um, That sounds good. We'll be ordering those. Thank you, sis. I appreciate you, Sister Carla, because she ordered like the um hair, the um herbal mix, and she makes her mix with my um herbal hair mix and the um curly girly balm. Actually, Sister Tiffy ordered the curly girly balm too, Sister Carla. So that's why I use this defining my hair, my high porosity hair. Yeah, I have curly girly um butter in the balm. Hey, my brother, Big Tim, how are you? Blessings to you. So grateful to have you. Ladies, check out Minister of Wellness channel here on YouTube. He's full of healthy information about food. He said also that we should stop eating meat and fish. I have heard of um, him before. Um, I agree with some of the stuff he said. I don't know if I agree with everything. I don't agree with um, stop eating meat and fish. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't agree with that because um, the word does say in the last days that people will be forbidding people from eating meat. And so I would never forbid anyone from eating meat. I would say there may be a time where you have to stop eating it for a little bit, but I wouldn't say stop, you know, don't eat it at all. Um, I would say, you know, pray about it because some people may have to stop eating it. So I don't believe that's for everyone. So I don't agree with telling everybody don't eat meat and fish. Like I said, it has to be um, wild caught and it has to be um, at least not about it if you can't get organic, but even with that, they still feed them stuff. So everything is not perfect. Like you can even eat, you know, cantaloupes. A lot of those cantaloupes in there are are filled with some of them, how big they are. They put, um, uh, what is it, y'all? Um, they put, um, I can't even think of it. They make it big. Is it steroids? I, I don't think it's steroids. They pump it with something to make it big. So it's best to like, you know, get the organic kind. So a lot of things, just imagine, a lot of things is not always what, it's, what they say it to be, but I would just say pray about what you eat and be careful. But I would, me personally, I wouldn't tell people to stop eating meat, <laughs> me personally. But if you're going through a health crisis, I would say try to act on your body. Maybe you need to, you know, not eat meat for a little bit or slow down on certain meats and only eat it every now and then until you can get your body stronger and then, um, go back to eat certain meats or maybe your body's just not for eating meats and that's you but i wouldn't tell people don't eat meat i don't I, I don't do that um how are you brother tim you're doing well i pray all this well with you stop by to say hello thank you so much sister linda thank you so much for stopping by to say hello i appreciate you thank you i appreciate you hitting that red button hold on you said you, you was never subscribed to me <laughs> See, you know, I'm going to have to go over there and get you. <laughs> you got to make sure that button stay red. <laughs> um, Let me see. Where we at, y'all? Because my chat done skipped on me. Okay, where am I at? 
Okay, I need more sea moss as well. I didn't know you had that as well. Yes, yeah, sis. I have ordered some for Amazon. I'll be getting it from you now. Or thank you. And also know that my sea moss, I put bladder rat in it. So it's even more potent because with bladder rat, it helps with weight loss and um it has so many other health benefits to it. And bladder rat is a seaweed. So I add that to my sea moss. But sister Carla, you just uh, I just love you, sis. Thank you so much. I'm telling you, Sister Angie said that prayer. And I know you listening, Sister Angie, in the bushes um, about my business. And that just blessed me so much. Just blessed me so much. Okay. Um, everybody say hello. You have you have newsletter going now. I, Sister Carla, yes, I do. But I have not put out one newsletter yet. I'll be so busy. I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get some out there because I really want those who signed up on my website. I got so many people signed up on my website, and I haven't sent out not one newsletter. And I want to do that because I want to send out like discount codes and stuff, and kind of send out things about natural remedies and just all those different things. So y'all keep me in prayer because I got a lot going on. My life is busy, but I want to take some time to start working on my newsletters. Because I want to bless, I want to be a blessing. So if y'all not subscribed to my website, please subscribe to my website because I do want to do a lot of newsletters and I want to put them out there. Um, just um natural remedies and things. God bless you all. God bless you all too. Bless you as well, brother. Um Tim, brother Tim, I love you. Had to double up the thumbs button. <laughs> Thank you, Jazz. I love you, sis. She said, look, I'm coming in as Jazz Handmade. If y'all don't have my sister, please pick her up. She is Be A Blessing Podcast, and she's Jess Handmade Design. This is the one of the original occultees. So, yes, please hit my sister up. The Minister of Wellness speaks of CMOS, too. Yes, CMOS is amazing, and I love it. It has so many great benefits. It's 98. It contains 98 minerals that our body needs. So, it tells you how important it is. And I know people do their CMOS different, but I use distilled water, which after my research, distilled water is the best water. I used to have, um, I don't know if y'all heard of the Kangen machine. It's alkaline water that comes out of, I used to have one of those, but uh, when my husband got injured, when he was kind of tight, so, you know, I had to sell it, which really hurt me so bad. I didn't want to let it go. <laughs> but, you know, when it comes back to the family, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So hit the like button every time. Everyone, please. Yes, thank you. Yes, please hit that like button. Share me out if you can. Yes, the tea mixes was fun. Yes, Annie Toon, she she got to um, help me um, make tea mixes, and she's such a blessing. So I love when she helps me with the business. They cut out my little tags. So I got my little tea tags and stuff. I thank the Lord for that idea because he gave me that idea as well. He just keep giving me ideas. And then I have my sisters, Jess and Shalina and myself. You know, we always giving each other ideas and stuff. So I'm just so blessed. I'm so blessed. Sis NHK blessed me with some tea, with some teas. What a blessing. Love them. Yes. I remember she blessed you with some things. I'm telling you, she has a giving spirit. She really does. And I'm telling you, when she gives, she gives big. So I'm so grateful for sis. I love you too. Thank you so much, brother. Love you too, brother. Exactly, sis Carla. Tea blending is fun. Yes, it is. Sis Jess, that's right. She blends teas too. So she loves to mix teas and blend them up. Y'all, I better go. <laughs> I am over 30 minutes over. So, yeah. But I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. How did you do that? Double up on the button. Oh, she doubled up on the button because she like, look, I want to double up on the button too. Because she has two accounts. Thank you so much, Miss Lena. You're so sweet. She's like, I want to do it too. But yes, um, she has two accounts. Bye, everyone, for now. I love you all so much. We love you, too. Thank you for coming in here. We appreciate you. God bless you, too. Yes, have a blessed day. Okay, she said she got two channels. Okay, so Tara said hello. Yeah, my son's hair is like yours, so I used it on him. I like the curly girly bomb, too. Oh, thank you, Tiffy. I'm so glad you're liking it. Praise the Lord. Yeah, so I'm telling you, that Z-shaped kinky light hair can be hard to deal with. But once you know what to do and how to deal with it, it's easy. I, I'm telling you, the beginning of my journey, nat going back natural journey, was harder than it is now. And my hair is way longer. So it's how you do it. It's how you take care of it. 
Yes, I was just passing the info along, not telling anyone what to do. Shalom. Oh, I understand, Miss Lena. I understand. No, that was no not to you at all, sister. No, not to you. I know. But I was just saying for him, I wouldn't tell people that. But thank you so much for passing along because you're right. Um, I have heard some of his stuff and he does give really good information. So thank you for sharing that. I am so enjoying this. Thank you, sis. I thank you so much, um, Sister Angie. I appreciate that. Okay. In the newsletter, you can talk about natural way health facts. Yes, you're right, Sister Jess. Please keep me in prayer in that area because I need, I really need time to be able to really sit down and put the newsletter together. Um, never tried sea moss. I do eat seaweed salad and the seaweed snacks. That's good, sis. That seaweed is good. Goodbye, all. I have to go. Didn't mean to offend anyone. I was just passing along some information. He is faith filled, brother, and has a lot of information on food and herbs. So sorry. No, Miss Lena, no, you didn't offend me at all. It was just towards him. But no, I, I agree. He does give great information. And I'll message you later because no, no one took offense to that at all. But we love you, sis. We love you so much. And I thank you for sharing that. I thank you for sharing that. Hey, sis, what do you have for diabetes? Okay, I do have um different herb mix. I will contact you on that because I know I'm like 40 minutes over. <laughs> So I'm going to contact you, Sister Carla, on what I have. I'm trying to think, did I send you? No, I think it was another sister who asked for a high blood pressure mix. So um, I was supposed to be making for her. So I'll contact you on that. Yes, you're fine. You're fine. I don't know if you're still here, but I'll contact her later. I got a number. This is an awesome blessing having any tunes, and she is learning and could be the next. <laughs> yes, sis, exactly. She sees what I'm doing and she learns from me you know so thank the lord um love you sis thanks for doing the tag thank you sis i appreciate it so much oh so sweet i love you so much sis thank you so much and thank you for tagging me thank you for saying i can do this i'm still here y'all i'm quiet so i'm taking it all in huh <laughs> yes but sis when are you when are we going to go live together next month I know when we go live together, it's probably going to have to be a two-hour live. So I'm going to have to talk to hubby. Be like, we got to be on for two hours, okay? It says in the Bible, every hair on our heads are numbered. I sure hope God knows how to subtract. <laughs> Sis, yes, because when a hair shed, be like, this is number so-and-so, so-and-so. It fell out, fell out of our heads. Um, can you pray for Brother Bear, please? Yes, I can pray for Brother Chaz. I have been praying for him. I also left a comment on his... Um, on his channel as well but yes i will um i'm about to close soon so i'm gonna pray sis nk nhk are you okay you're not quiet normally <laughs> i love you <laughs> no she's not a quiet person you're right now if it was me that's different i'm the quiet one right blessings mother good afternoon to you thank you so much for coming in i'm about to close soon because i'm actually over on i'm supposed to bend off <laughs> so um, I thank y'all for y'all wonderful comments. Thank you so much. I'm so blessed by everything that was um, said. And y'all blessing me so much. I just don't know. I'm truly blessed by y'all. Diana, you're so funny. Yes, she is. She is so funny. She is a mess. I just love my sister Diana. Oh, but before I go, y'all, hold on. I'm going to say a prayer for Brother Chess. I'm going to close out in prayer. But um, this is very informative and a blessing. I will email you about the information, the info I need. Thank you, sis, because, you know, I, I owe you anyway. So I owe you for this package. So please email me. Um, I haven't got, I haven't finished getting stuff together. I know what I want to send you, but let me know. Um, let me know if you need anything so I can look out for you because you looked out for me. Like she hooked my daughter up with, um, I actually did a video of it. I just have to edit it. And you know me, it takes me forever to edit a video. I got so much, so much stuff I need to edit. So it's going to probably be a while. Um, I love you, sister. I love you too, brother. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Everyone's saying blessings to you, sister Manda. Bye, everyone. God bless you all. God bless you too, brother Tim. Hopefully I see you, sister. Share bright light. Is brother Brandon alive? Can somebody check and see? Uh, I'm supposed to be on. off. Continue to hold my brother, Tony, and his wife, Michelle. I had to do welfare prayer with them this morning. Peace and healing to their home. I remember you shared that this morning, that you had to pray for them. 
Yes, I've been keeping him in prayer. I don't think I have his wife, Michelle, name written down on my prayer list. But I do have Tony and his and his children because I know he's been going through. So let me write that down, Tony and Michelle. Uh, I'm telling you, that warfare prayer is no joke. No joke. And um, who else? Oh, brother. Brother Chaz. Yeah. Blessings to you, naturally. Thank you so much. Blessings to you as well, Manda. I'm so glad you came. And I think this is your first time. I know I've seen you around. I don't know if this is your first time being in my live. So thank you to all those that shared me out. I didn't really get to see who all shared me out. Uh, but I thank y'all so much for sharing me out. I really appreciate it so very much. But this is what my sister sent me. Hold on, y'all. I don't know. So she did handmade, handmade, hold on, oh, hold on, how can I turn it right, okay, there you go, handmade, um, I tell y'all, she sent some beautiful stuff, so she sent me some things for my daughters, because you know, winter time is coming, and my daughters love, um, they love wearing hats, they love wearing hats, so, this is um, one of the hats, oh yes, my daughters can wear this. They can wear this. And I love her. Um, can I see that? Made by PC for Pamela Crochet. And um, this is, she She loves um, ladybugs. So I think that is so cute. I told my daughters, I said, uh oh, I forgot any tune you in here. So I told them, look, this, you already got your hats, Amaya. So no, these are not yours. Look, she like this. Look at that. Oh, no. Thank you, sister, for the information. You're so welcome, sister. You're so welcome. Um, sis NHK, I heard you sing this morning. He woke me up this morning and started me on my way. He reigns forever. He reigns forever. He reigns forever. And evermore. All hell, King Jesus. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sister Diana, you are a mess. You are a mess. Yes, I've been here before. Okay. I need to stop by your home. I don't know. Have I been to your home before? I need to stop by there. You see that, Sister Pamela? <laughs> that hat is so cute. Yes, it is. Look at this one. Oh, this would be so cute for my baby girl. Oh, this is beautiful, Sister Pamela. Oh, oh my goodness, y'all. She hooked me up, y'all. Y'all hear me? She hooked me up. This is beautiful. Oh, yeah. They can, um, they can definitely wear this. They can definitely wear this. Even if I do like crocheting in here, y'all, I'm tell you, my house around here, I have three girls in my head to do. Yeah, it's a lot of work. And I'm still, I just finished washing my baby girl's hair, so I need to braid her hair up. Let me tell you what my baby girl did. One day I had to give y'all a story about her, how she used to have, I forgot the name of it, but she used to pull her hair. And it wasn't out of stress or nothing, it was just she just did it. And it was hard. Oh my goodness, it used to be so hard the care for her hair but i got her hair growing back y'all and tell me why one day she cut the front of her hair right here so now i'm getting that to grow back and i'm like all that i would be i was crying i was crying. I was like, all that i went through to grow your hair and then you just you just do that to me you know it's just it really hurt <laughs> she said oh you still singing it do you hear sis <laughs> no i don't hear <laughs> that's that's in your head sis <laughs> that's in your head Okay, um, too cute. Yes, it is. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Look at this, y'all. I want this one for myself. I think y'all think I can fit my head in that. I want this. This is pretty. And look, um, it said made by PC. And then she got the little the little one. Y'all see that? This is so gorgeous. Oh man, sister Pamela. I'm going to have to try to fit my head. He's like, I can fit my head in there. <laughs> that is so cute. Is your Cody brother Brandon is not live right now? Oh, he's not? Okay. I thought, because I know he says sometimes he go live. That's why I went at 12, because I didn't want to interrupt his live. So thank the Lord he's not going to kind of going over. Oh, she gave me a card. I got a nice little card. Okay, y'all, I'm not finished. I still got some more stuff. Thank you so much, Tiki, for checking for me. Um, she has made me a hat before. They are so beautiful. You see that, Sister Pamela? 
They are so beautiful. I would recommend to get hats from her for the winter time. That was so sweet. Thank you, baby girl. Thank you. She said, thank you, Annie. Trichotillomania. Hold on, what is that? That has to do with hair, right? It has to do with hair. I heard that before. And I know trickle is, is something about hair. Yeah, I'll be forgetting these terms sometimes. Oh my goodness, my baby girl is gonna love this. I can see her wearing this. I can see my baby girl wearing this right here. This is so cute. Was this this was not crochet, was it? This was um what did you stitch it? This oh she is gonna love this. I can see my baby girl face with this hat on her head. Oh my goodness, you just Oh my goodness, you just blessing me. Oh my goodness. That is so beautiful. Look at this, y'all. Okay, I got a phone call. My middle daughter is going to love this. She loves pink. Pink is her favorite color. Oh my goodness. All these are gorgeous, y'all. Now, I'm going to have to try to keep them from fighting because I'm telling you, I was telling her that when I was showing my daughter Annie Toon's channel, when I was showing her her hats, my uh, my daughter was like trying to grab it. My baby girl was trying to get it. My um, little daughter was looking like, where's my hat? And I was like, I'm sorry. These are all for your sister. So, yeah. So um, they they um, really love the hats. Oh, my gosh. You're welcome. Nice. Yes, Brother Terrence. They are nice. Very nice. They have great stretch. Yes, they do. I see that. They have really great stretch, so mm -hmm. I might have to wear this one. I give this one to my my middle daughter. She'll love that. Now the other ones I'm gonna have to see between the two of them. I don't know which one I'm gonna get to, but I already know. I already know a couple of who, which one's gonna have what. Annie Tunes, you should look at her shawls. She does amazing, absolutely gorgeous shawls. Yes, she does. Y'all, if y'all have Sister Pamela, please ch check her out. Her work is amazing her work is beautiful it's it's really beautiful beautiful hats love them all yes amen they are you're welcome knit okay i knew it okay i knew that was knit i knew it i love that i love that light week it just it just screams genesis this hat screams genesis y'all it's like this is just her i can see her little face in it so i i appreciate that um Hey, I will talk to you later. Kids will be here soon. We'll be at Sis Angie's a little later. Love you. Love you too, sis. Yes, me too. Actually, she's about to start. So, y'all, we're just going to raise Sister Angie. Um, that's, Thank you, Sister Jess. Yes, it's called Trico to the Lump. I knew it was, I knew Trico was hair related. But, yes, I did, I actually did a um thing on it. Trico to the Lump, to the Mania. Trico to the Mania is the pulling of the hair and that's what my my youngest daughter had she would just pull her hair and we used to have to like catch her and stop her we have to keep watching her um beautiful work yes beautiful work be blessed okay i gotta go i hope there is something for everyone thank you it is sis there's something for everyone so trust me know that i'm gonna bless you sis for that for blessing me i appreciate you so much very beautiful pulling yes pulling of the hair Holly, you too, sis. Be blessed, Sister Tiffy, you and your children. I'm going to read this. Um, I'll probably read it off the camera, but because uh, I need to get ready to go, y'all. And can somebody get Sister Angie's link so we can um, raid her? I need to get out there to my babies. Thank you. That's so cute. She always leave me a little thank you card. Aww. She always writing something so nice. <laughs> she is so sweet. I'm going to read the rest of this later, but I'm going to go into prayer, y'all. So. Thank y'all again for coming on here. I thank y'all, my mods. I thank my subscribers, followers. I just thank y'all so much. I love y'all so much. My Cody's and the Keys, which is my sisters and my brothers. Thank y'all so much in Christ. And I love y'all so much. And um, I'm going to close out in prayer. And I hope this blessed y'all, being able to share my testimony and being able to um, help you in any kind of way. So uh, please subscribe to my website because I'm trying to do better and do newsletters, y'all. So just keep me in prayer. I'm able to just really take time to sit down and write these newsletters because I'm always writing up information when I send out to my customers. So if I can write it for my customers, I can write it for my subscribers too, right? So let me just get it done. <laughs> All right, so I'm about to close out in prayer and then we can just go ahead and rate Sister 
um, Sister Angie, okay? And somebody can get the link for me. I appreciate it. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, we come before you once again, Lord. We just thank you. We thank you, Lord, for blessing this time we came together in your name, Father, and just being able to edify, being a blessing one to another, and helping each other naturally, Lord, when it comes down to our body, Lord Jesus, making sure that we feed the spirit man and that we take care of this body naturally, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for your love and your grace and your mercy being so good. I thank you, Lord, for just being um, everything we need you to be, Lord, and supply all our needs. Because we know, Lord, that you can do the impossible and you can do anything but fail. And, Lord, I pray, Lord, you will keep us, Lord, keep our minds stayed on you, Lord. Lord, help us, Lord, to just live a life that is sanctified for you. And, Lord, I pray, Lord, for our sister, Carlos. Um, brother Tony, Lord, and his wife, Michelle, Lord. We come against any attack and try to come against their home, Father. Father, you said that when the enemy comes in like a flood, that the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against it. And we pray, Lord, that you will lift up a standard against the enemy that tries to come in their home and try to disrupt it, try to cause confusion, or whatever it is the enemy is trying to do. But Father, we ask, Lord, that you will dispatch your angels around them, Lord, to keep them, protect their home, and dispel those wicked ones out of their home, Lord. And that, Lord, you would just be their protector. Keep his mind, Father. Thank you, Lord, that he's no longer in the nursing home. He's home now. And, Lord, just keep his mind in perfect peace, Lord. And keep his wife mind that she would just be that prayer warrior for him. That she would go into prayer and she will go into fasting, Lord. Do her part, Lord, as he does his part. And we see you do your part in their homes, Lord. Touch their family, Lord, their children, Lord. And, Lord, extended family, Lord. We just pray for peace, Lord, that they will learn that, Lord, you are loved and that in order for them to belong to you, they have to show love and they they have to humble themselves, Lord, before Almighty God. And we just pray for so many of y'all, those that are watching, Lord, that are in the bushes, that are taking a back seat. Lord, I pray for those that are in the chat, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you will touch every lives, every situation, every circumstances, because, Lord, you know everything. There's nothing hidden from you. And we pray, Lord, that somebody was blessed and somebody know that, Lord, that all these things come from you, that even through this, Lord, even though we may not have been just praying and in the scriptures, but Lord, just knowing that the natural things came from you, and they realize how much they need you because you created all things um, and that they will humble their hearts before you, Lord, that you will remove that stony heart and get them a heart of flesh, Father. And Father, we pray for our brother Chaz, Lord, bear the cross. Father, we pray for protection. We pray for healing. We pray, Lord, that whatever it is that the enemy is trying to come against him, Lord, that, Lord, you will shield them and protect him, Lord, as he keep that whole armor of God on, that know that he can stand against the wiles of the wicked one. So whatever it is that's trying to come against him, the Lord God rebuke you in the name of Jesus. This is our brother in Christ. You have no right to attack our brother because we stand in agreement with God's holy word for his life, that he will live and not die. He will stand up and be strong for the Lord, and he will fight that good fight of faith. And, Lord, we just continue to keep, keep on lifting up in prayer. And we continue to praise you, Lord, for that praise report that he's going to give. We continue to thank you, Lord, because, Lord, it was you that delivered him from those drugs, Lord. It was you, Lord, that put your hands on him, and your hands are still on him. And we thank you, Lord, that your word said you will never leave him nor forsake him. And we thank you, Lord, and we bless you, Father. We glorify your name. And we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So I'm so grateful um, to you all. Um, yeah, thank you all. Thank you um, so much, Annie, for the kind words. Yeah, she loves her hats. It's like she she loves them. And that blesses me to see her smile. You know, it blesses me to see that. Uh, what a blessing. Amen. Sis Pamela has the most amazing pensmanship too. <laughs> yes, her writing is beautiful. I know, you right. Thank you. She put her channel down. Y'all, please go subscribe to my sister, Pamela. Please go show some love to my sister. Thank you so much, Jess, for sharing her channel. Thank you, Jess. Yes, and some of y'all amazing people here. Please go show some love to each other. Yes, we got the Share Bright Light channel um, up. So please go, and we're going to go raid Sister um, Angie. Thank you, sisters. I love you all. See you guys soon. Yes, we'll see you, sis. We'll see you. Thank you all for coming. We love and appreciate you all. Maranatha. Yes, Maranatha. Amen. Amen. So grateful for you, Sharita. So grateful for you, Sister Teresa. So grateful for you. I'm just so grateful for all the Cody's in here and all the keys in here. I'm so grateful. Amen. Amen. All right. I love y'all. So we about to go raid, Sister. Share bright lights. Y'all go in there and say NWA raid. Um, let me get my 
am I closing? Here it is. All right. So remember that Jesus loves you and I do too. And I appreciate you all. Thank y'all for being here with me and just hanging out with me. Y'all be blessed and love y'all. Hopefully I see y'all over there at your bright light. Love y'all. Bye.